cosmogony. Plate number four illustrates the generations of the heavens and the earth, called cosmogony, an exposition of the creation as compared to the pattern of the tabernacle in plate one. In plate four, we recognize Yahweh in eternity as spirit, being the universal spirit law and substance, the source from which all things emanate, both visible and invisible, and is compared to the most holy place in plate one, a type of heaven with the Ark of the Covenant therein and the mercy seat thereon, overshadowed by two archangels containing the law of the commandments with the invisible presence of Yahweh in the cloud above. On the veil is seen figures of angels, typifying the invisible angelic spirit creatures who were created before the physical creation, indicating the division between spirit and matter. This is proven by the pattern of the tabernacle, with the veil embellished with angelic figures coming through the veil to the holy place we find Yahweh, which is spirit or substance, taking on the invisible gaseous form of atoms existing in ethereal space known as the second heaven, as compared to the holy place in plate one, an intermediate holy place. Finally, coming through the first veil to plate 4e, we find the amalgamation of these invisible atoms into molecular structures without taking on shape and form in the creation of the material inorganic earth as compared to the outer court in plate 1e, with its brazen vessels for sin atonement, a figure of the Messiah as the atonement from the foundation of the world, Revelation 13 and 8. The inferno of molten lava in the center of the earth is compared to the brazen altar with the fire thereon for sacrifices. The hot springs and steam in plate 4E caused by the intense heat of the internal lava and the clouds in the water surrounding the earth is compared to the brazen laver in plate 1E containing water for washing and cleansing purposes.